Oh, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video and spend a portion of your day with me. It really means a lot to me. Today, I will be bringing you my <laughs> way overdue February update for my low buy for 2023. It is May 17th right now. I am, I have to film February's, April's, February, March, and April's uh, with school. Things got way, way, way behind, but I still wanted to update you. I did purchase some things. January, I did amazing. I just did one gift, so all my numbers stayed the same. I'll After my intro, I'll go ahead and explain my rules. I did purchase. I was gifted, and I do have some empties. So if you are interested in that, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe before you go. Let's go ahead and get into this February low buy update for 2023. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, it is May 17th when I am filming this. This should have been posted in the beginning of March, but I am in school i am on break i did start working as well lots of things come up i am a new grandmother so there's lots of busyness going on in my life but i still want to update you because i have been doing pretty well i did buy some things you know in february but nowhere near what i was buying last february so honestly what has been saving me is i don't have the time to look on Instagram, look through my emails, you know, shop. I'm never bored. If I am bored, if it's it's slow at work, and usually, like, if I get on my phone, somebody will come to the bar and order a drink. So it's not like I can really order. Like, the other day, I was trying to order my mom her Mother's Day gift. Every time I got online, there was, like, no one around. Every time I pulled up the site, someone kept ordering a drink. I finally had to do it at the end of the night. So... That's kind of how work goes. There's not a lot to do, but I'm never bored, like, ever. I wish, I wish I could be bored. I, no, I really don't, but I'm never bored. Boring, <laughs> being bored is never in my vocabulary. It hasn't been in my vocabulary in the past, I don't know, five plus years. I'm never bored. I want to be bored some days. So, in January, so let's start from the beginning. My goal is to buy less and to use my collection, show my collection some love. If I finish things, amazing. I do want to finish 23 items in 2023. 2022, I did succeed and I surpassed 22 items. So I was amazing at that. So each, I gave myself a 36 point palette bank and a 36 point makeup bank. I know some of you are probably like, that's extreme. Yes, it is extreme, but I do have extreme shopping habits, and that worked for me. So if you're, <laughs> keep your judginess to yourself. I'm trying to do it based on my shopping habits. Right now, I'm so busy, I haven't been shopping, so I've been doing amazing. But last year, I would buy a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then just busy with school, final exams, homework. My teachers piled on the homework this year, so I was always school and homework all the time. I was busy with that. And then incorporating work with that, working nights at that. So I barely get time to sleep. And now I have a new baby. The baby, you know, is never a problem, is never an issue. He doesn't take up no time. I love hanging out with him. I love spending grandma time with him. So he has not been any kind of issue, but I do want to spend time with him. So I do take the time to spend time with him. So enough rambling i did not buy no palettes in january so we're still at 36 in february i did not buy anything i did buy the sydney grace bundle but i had a gift card that my young my oldest had gave me for christmas so i used that so that stayed the same and i had two makeup empties which brought me to 38 so going into february we have 38 makeup points and 36 palette points so we do have six makeup empties, which brings me to 44. Let me go ahead and gather those empties so I can show them to you. But six for the month of February, that's amazing. Alrighty, I collected them right here. We have 
a MAC Fix Plus. This was in my deck of panning. It is empty. It's a pricey item, so I'm super happy about that. One item. Another setting spray. It is a Morphe Continuous Mist. This is my absolute favorite. I do love this one, but this one is my favorite. But lately, I have not been using setting spray as much as I previously have. I don't know why. My makeup is still lasting, but maybe I'll start getting back to it into... I felt like I needed it more in the drier months now that it is, you know, getting warmer and more humid outside. I haven't been using it as much, so maybe that is why. But this is my holy grail. I have a few backups, so I don't need to purchase anything. Next, we have this small concealer empty. This is in one of my projects. Um, I will list my project pan playlist down below in case you want to see that. But it is a little tart shape tape. I did remove the stopper. It is completely empty. That update is already filmed. So that is three empties. This was also in a project. It is a Peerless BD Cream in medium. I cut the cap and that is an empty. That is four. Next is this It Cosmetics CC Cream. This was in a project as well. And that is cut open. So this is five makeup empties. And then this guy was in my 50 Shades of Green. It's, this took me over 100 uses to use this and I got this from like TJ Maxx so I'll never put this into a project I'll just kind of use it sparingly and I did keep track of all my uses this was well over a hundred uses I can't remember how many um, but yes a lot of uses and so this is just a lip care product but I'm going to I've seen a lot of people put it with their makeups instead of their skincare so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing and put it with my makeup empties um, so that is six makeup empties bringing us to 44 I will tell you my gifted items and then I will do whatever I purchased at the very end just in case you don't want to see it but I will inform you so let me go ahead and gather my gifted items right now so it was in the beginning of February me and my husband were out running around and I was totally gonna purchase these and he's like no I'll buy them for you I watched your video of brands you want to try in 2023 which one of them was glam like he already knew so he's like um, at the end of the day, he's like, no, I'm, I'll buy them. Like when we're checking out, I was pulling out my wallet. He's like, no, I'm going to get these for you. So I was like, okay. So he did gift me all these and these are in a haul. I will leave that haul link down below. If I'm missing anything, I'll go ahead and pop it in, but I don't think that I am. So I want to say there is more stuff, but I don't think so. So we did find three of the Glam Light Kiss, Kisses, Kiss Palettes three of them. This is one of the little packaging. I have only used this silver one. We have um, the blue one. I do have all of them that I know of. We do have the blue one. There is a palette bingo coming soon with these, so be on the lookout with the pink one, the purple one, and this silver one right here. This is the only one that I have used. Very beautiful. I'll go ahead and pop in a look that I did, and um, I went out of town and I will go ahead and pop in that video as well. So that's very beautiful. That was my first time using them. And I have bought many more Glam Light. So there's many more Glam Light hauls to come. I just got to get around to filming them. And then this one. So beautiful. I can't wait to play with these. And then um, I bought. he bought me the Wild Greens. There is a palette bingle with this one as well. So I did buy this one. But this is all gifted. So this does not count to anything. And then this ColourPop blush. But like I said, that haul will be linked down below. And then if you do not... Ugh. And then if you do not know, I am a Halloween queen. I'm a Halloween fan. Anything Halloween makeup related, I need. So February 14th, Valentine's Day, Glam Light released their Chucky collection. And my husband bought me everything that I wanted for that collection. So I did buy this. This is how life has been. I absolutely love Chucky and I have not even got around to even unboxing it to make sure that it arrived okay. So that is just a little tidbit of how my life is going. I haven't had a chance to even look at it, which shame on me, really shame on me. But if it, I really hope that it didn't arrive damaged. I didn't even think about that just till right now. So I really hope that nothing arrived damaged. But let me go ahead and put a pause. I'm going to peek at this really quickly to let you know if anything got damaged. But 
but I will do an unboxing of this as well because I did purchase stuff from the Mother's Day collection. They released a bag and so I did just buy the bag for May, but that'll be May's collection. But that'll be coming real shortly because it is May 17th when I'm filming this. So I want to unbox the whole Chucky collection. But thank you to my wonderful, amazing, loving, supportive husband for purchasing this for me. Because I told him about it. He's like, what do you have for Valentine's Day? I was like, you don't have to buy me nothing. I plan on paying this. And I don't know. I guess he was looking at me or I don't know. He somehow he was like, I'll buy you the Chucky collection. I was like, oh, really? I was like, thank you. He's like, yeah, buy whatever you want. So I did get everything except for the liquid liners. I'm not a liquid liner person. I don't want to just purchase just to have those pieces in my collection. Something that I'll never, ever, ever use. I don't use liquid liners anymore. I have them for many, many years. Probably like eight, nine years. On occasion. But it's not enough for me to have as many liquid liners as I do have. So those are the only two things that I did not purchase. So gifted items do not count. These will count from here on out. So if you don't want to see hauls, I will see you in my next video. But if you do still want to see hauls, then stay tuned for all the little goodies that I bought. So if you are unaware, Copacetic does every first Tuesday of every month, they do $2 Tuesdays. And I have been buying the bundles ever since I found out at the end of January. So I do have a video I will link down below. This was the February Copacetic bundle. Instead of counting it as five individuals, I'm going to help go ahead and count it as one makeup item. So this is one makeup item. Because it is a bundle. It, I mean, if you want to get technical, I did purchase them separately. But I'm going to go ahead and count them as a bundle. Because I am doing it every month. That's five. And I don't know. I just feel like they just kind of go together. So I'm counting this as a bundle. Five eyeshadows as a bundle. If you think that's cheating, I'm sorry. But I'm new to the eye, single eyeshadow. Um, single eyeshadow world. And then Sydney Grace, since January, I have been purchasing every month, and that is a bundle. This is their February bundle. I believe there was a gloss as well. I don't know where the gloss is, but it is a bundle, so that is one makeup point as well. This is January's, February's, March's. I haven't put April's or May's in here. I need to do that, so this will be my Sydney Grace, but this was in you saw this one in January. So this one is February's. Like I said, it is one bundle. Oh, there was a highlighter. This is part of the bundle. But it is a bundle. So that is one makeup item. And like I said, if that is cheating to you, um, we can go ahead and discuss it down in the comments. But I don't think a lot of you would even mind. And then I did buy two cream eyeshadows. Two cream single eyeshadows. So for Sydney Grace, I put that bundle they did have a sale going on and i did buy my mom one but i'm not going to count that because that was a gift and i bought with my sydney grace purchase the bundle i bought two cream eyeshadows but my mom has those right now i will i think i did a real i can't remember i will leave those i think i did a, a haul i will leave the haul down below so you can go ahead and see my sydney grace but i will count those individually because they were purchased individually and then I bought the Be Mine palette right here, but I do have that haul, so I will, I'll just go ahead and give you a little sneak peek in case you haven't seen it. But I did buy me the dark one. I bought my mom the light one, but that was the gift. So this is my dark one. I have yet to play with it. I was actually searching, and I just found the box, like, when I went to go collect my, when I went to go put away my gifted item. So my, my life is a little bit crazy right now. And then I could not find the pink and the purple palette. So Shelly, I don't know what that was. So Shelly did find them and then she did ship them to me with the receipt. And then I reimbursed her for the price of the palettes plus the shipping. So I do have all of the little Kiss palettes. Like I said, we'll be doing a palette bingo. I will be filming that one soon. Very, very soon. So we have the beautiful pink one. I couldn't find them at my TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls, but she was able to find this one. Mine, I I live in San Antonio, Texas. 
is like the seventh largest city in the United States. So when things come, you better jump on it. And then the purple bundle. Or the purple palette. So, so pretty. I can't wait to use these. I'm super excited. But like I said, life has just been super busy. I, I have been using and wearing a lot of makeup. But it's very quick makeup. So, we have 44 to start out with. With makeup empties. Then we bought the Copacetic. The February bundle. And the two single shadows. So, we are down to 40 makeup items that I can purchase throughout the year. We had um, 36 eyeshadow palettes. I did buy three. The Sydney Grace Be Mine, the Pink Glam Light Kiss, and the Purple Glam Light Kiss. So that brings us down to 33 palettes that I can purchase for the rest of the year. Spoiler alert, I kind of purchased six this month that I'm remembering. So um, yeah, we are getting down there. So that is everything, but, um, I'm super happy with, I have more makeup items to purchase. I've been really good. February and March and May were kind of like, I've been purchasing a little bit, but not too much, not as much as I normally do. All my hauls for my Copacetic, my Sydney Grace, and my TJ Maxx, I will leave those linked down below and figure out how to pop them up right here so you can click on them to check what I have been purchasing. But that is it. Let me know how you are doing on your low buy. I will be filming videos. I am backed up on filming, but I'm super happy to get back catching up. And I have a lot of catching up to do. Like I said, this is February's. It should have been posted in March and it is May. But I will see you soon in my next clip. But if you are here to the end, please leave a little Valentine emoji for the month of February from my low buy. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Love you.